My family may not be perfect. We may not always see eye to eye, but one thing we do agree on, we are for sure family. So we're moving on to what I normally have for lunch. Now keep in mind, I don't have a cafeteria or a place to eat. So in a sense, I'm forced to eat fast food or whatever is available near me on my job. So again, I love burgers. So most time, you know, I do rotate, you know, between McDonald's, Burger King. Um, and today I just want to share with you what is my normal, typical, uh, lunch meal so just for demonstration purposes i do have some burger king over here and another bag over here for wendy's so and the drink today that i have is a diet coke Do we have some water for no demonstration purposes? Normally I do go for the water. And again, um, just want to share some things that are out there that you may or may not know. Uh, first, we have Crystal Light. Crystal Light has five calories, has zero carbs. So this is one of the ones I recommend. Another brand that I use from time to time is, this is Crush. Uh, they have multiple flavors as well. Again, this is five calories. Again, zero carbs. And then last but not least is Hawaiian Punch. And the Hawaiian Punch does have five calories, but it also has one carb. So uh, bottom line here is just keep in mind and read the back of the box, whatever it is that you're trying to supplement your calorie drinks for. Uh, you want to substitute those as fast as you can to zero calorie drinks. I'm not saying that diet soda is the best. So again, uh, me personally, I normally drink the water. But again, for demonstration purposes, I'm just showing you what you can do. Uh, and so like how I normally make this, I just take my bottle of water. Or if you want to do it cheaper, you know, just buy a case of water and bring some water to you. Bring some water with you to work, or if you forget your water, then you can just ask them to supplement your uh, meal. Instead of getting the coke, you just ask for a bottle of water there. So what I normally do is I open the bottle of water and I just take a swig. And that's just so, cause you know, it's kind of filled up to the top. So, you know, that's, come in little packets like this and then so you're just going to tear it off and again you, you may have done this but I'm just showing you for demonstration purposes and I guess I didn't tear it far enough because I'm not creating an opening but I'll just pour that in there Just a powdery substance. Screw the top back on. Shake it up. And bam, there you go. Like, like it says right here on the side, it's easily made, ready in minutes. It tastes very good, no pun intended. This is Hawaiian Punch. This is blueberry flavor. So that's one of your options. All right, so moving on to the meal. I'm just gonna throw this in there. Nothing in there but a burger. But uh, again, this is where it takes a little bit of self-control. Because like if you do get a full meal like this one is over here, just <clears throat> so you do have these fries in here. Everyone knows that these fries are not low carb. So again, 
if you have temptation, then I recommend for you just to order the burger by itself. If you can resist the temptation of fries, or you're still having a hard time, then I suggest just leave them in there. Don't take them out. And just pull out the meal. I got my burger right here. Some napkins over here. Some gold nuggets. Again, uh, I usually don't like to spend a lot of money on uh, burgers and stuff like that, because you know, a meal is about seven or eight dollars, so I try to keep it you know, relatively low. So again, this is the four for four from Wendy's. Uh, it does allow you to get a burger. It does allow you to get uh, nuggets and uh, of course your drink. Uh, I haven't tried to substitute it out for a bottle of water at Wendy's, but I have uh, substituted out numbers numerous of times at Burger King and they don't upcharge me for a bottle of water. Because you know, if you buy this by your bottle of water by itself it could cost 189 or more so again over here I just bought a burger from Burger King <clears throat> so here we go the battle of the burgers right so I have a bacon cheeseburger over here and just a regular cheeseburger over here so some people may be thinking like well you know this nuggets are breaded and you do have carb on there. Um, again, I'm not eating this every day. It's just like to break up the monotony. So I won't be eating the same stuff every day. So again, one day a little bit of bread is not gonna kill you. Uh, again, I do run, I do work out. So definitely for me, it's not going to affect you losing weight. So I just wanna throw that out there. So let me just open up these right here. Look at that. Maybe we'll do a little side by side comparison, huh? Uh oh. So, again, this is just a cheeseburger right here. And let's see what this one has. So, this one has uh, lettuce, tomatoes, and cheese, and also. This is my favorite, it comes with bacon. So if I had a choice, um, which one would I get? I'd definitely get the, this one over here to the left, only because it, it does have bacon. So, you know, I guess I should have got a bacon cheeseburger on this side so we can do a fair comparison, but I didn't. I'm sorry, there wasn't bacon. Well, anyway, so here we are with the two burgers. So if you don't know, Depending on where you get your burger from, it does have a different amount of carbs. Now, it may throw you off a little bit because some people may be saying how, if you just Google it regularly, they will show that this burger has more carbs in it. But keep in mind, they're talking about because you're eating it with the bun. So we can't have the bun, unfortunately. So we got to get rid of the bun. So you have to have a substitution for the bun. So what do we do? We have here, low carb tortillas so again this is just for just, just to let you know you do have options out there so this is going to be replacing our bun and i do this quite often with all my food uh when i'm on the atkins diet i don't uh, eat any bread at all so this becomes my substitute for bread this comes substitute for my uh burgers it becomes a substitute for my uh, subway sandwich the bun so you do have a lot of variety to make different type of wraps. And so the difference between the two is, uh, this one is 70 calories right here on the right. And it does have one more gram of fat. I mean, I'm sorry, one more carb than the, the, uh, the wheat one. So beans right here are 60 calories and five grams of carbs. So you can see plain as day. So just a matter of preference and taste. Um, but keep in mind, if you're counting uh, carbs in your, and you're close, then maybe you want to opt for this one so you can use that one uh, carb for something else uh, that you're trying to eat later on. Okay, so for demonstration purposes, I'll just do one of each. Well, now, 
I'm not gonna wait to get the So you do have another option, like you can just lift up the bun again and you throw these away. We're not gonna eat those. And so you could just grab it and eat and just eat like that. Eat it with no uh, tortilla. And keep in mind as you continue on this lifestyle change, again, I'm talking about Atkins. Um, I know in the beginning, it's Sometimes it's hard for me to like give up everything. I feel like I need chips. Uh, I need something to replace those fries. So if you need something like that, then there is an option for you. And that is pork skins. So what's good about pork skins is they have zero carbs. So. I mean, technically you could eat the whole thing, but um, keep in mind, you don't want to do that. So just again, read the back of it. These are 80 calories per serving. <clears throat> so there's eight servings in this bag right here. So the serving size is about 12 pieces. So <clears throat> I'm not saying that you're going to just pour you something a little bit out so you won't, you know, Overdo it, that's all I say. And again, as you as you begin to stay on this diet, your um, your stomach will shrink. And then maybe you don't want these. Mmm. These are um, barbecue flavor. So if you don't know, pork skins come in barbecue, hot, of course, plain. And then I think I've seen salt and pepper. I'm not sure if there's any other flavors. If there is, just let me know in the comments below. Again, throw this away. <clears throat> and then again, like you may have to get these two small birds, I don't know, or maybe one big one. But again, I just try to keep the cost low, so you need to get the smaller sandwiches. <clears throat> Gonna move these out the way. So we got the low carb tortilla. Um, make sure you just put it on a flat surface. Usually I just take the top off, throw that away, and then I just take my sandwich like this, just put it right on top. When you peel it off, it may stick, it may have a little bit of bread on it, that's okay. And throw it away. So. Now that I got the low carb tortilla, I'm gonna take it, wrap it, the taco. And there you go. And then it's been wrapped.
Não sai do. Que pelo menos não mexe. There's another reason why, probably why I get the smaller ones because I know it can fit inside the tortilla. Maybe you have a little bit thicker one, it may be a little bit more difficult, I don't know. Um, but you know, a lot of these fast food restaurants now, you know, they say it's a quarter pounder, but it's, it's still it looks thin to me, I don't know. If you don't like uh, hamburgers, you know, you can do chicken the same way. Of course, it's preferred or better if you uh, get the chicken that's not breaded. You know, get you a grilled chicken sandwich and you can do the same thing with that. Uh, I know a few places do have, they do sell wraps. Uh, I think McDonald's has, they sell a, a chicken wrap. So you can just substitute that wrap for this low carb wrap and you'll be good to go. I do know there's one place that I like to go to, also it's called Smithfield's, they do have some good pulled pork there. And they do give you a lot of pulled pork, so sometimes I just like to open up the bun and just pull the pork right off the, you know, the sandwich and I just eat it without no uh, taco. Keep in mind, I'm just showing you this because this is basically like on the go food. Uh, of course, you have plenty of more options if you cook at home, but I'm just trying to show you what I eat on one of my normal work days, so. Both sandwiches were good. <clears throat> So again, it just depends on if you like lettuce, tomato, and all that other stuff. You know, you might want to go to Wendy's because they have more um, options. Uh, if you just want a clean, uh, maybe a lighter burger or just cook, you know, flame broiled. It's usually the less grease, and then I recommend go with a Burger King. So the choice is yours. So that is pretty much my typical. Uh, okay, you just finished your breakfast and you know, you still have a few hours to go for lunch, you know, and maybe there might be, like I said, normally I eat, drink my breakfast because <laughs> I drink an Atkins shake, uh, usually about 9.30 or 10.30. And then so I don't usually go to lunch until about 12.30. So, I'm looking at at least two hour, three hour wait. So in the meantime, I may get hungry or, so what I try to do is I try to drink water in between, but also if I feel like I need a snack, then I just want to show you some of the things that I snack on. So this is my, these are my favorite <coughs> ones right here. Pretty sure you've seen these. Uh, they're made by Blue Diamond, they're almonds. And, uh, <coughs> So this one has five grams of carbs. This one has two grams of carbs. This one has two grams of carbs. Again, they come in all different 
flavors. So again, read the back of them. And just so you'll know, you won't go over like, you wanna stay within one serving uh, size. And so for one serving size, it's 28 nuts. So just keep that in mind. Like when I <clears throat> open a pack and I reach in and grab some, I usually just, just get it about four or five at a time. And the good thing I don't like about this is they make you thirsty because you know some of them are salted. And so it, it just helps you to continue pushing that water. Uh, pushing water is very important while you're doing the Atkins diet because for me, it will get me constipated. So I have to remember that. So I have to increase my water intake. <clears throat> so this, these are one of my favorite uh, brands of almonds and you can find them almost anywhere. Uh, and so <clears throat> we'll just put these over here on the side. And right here, we just have a regular uh, mixed nuts uh, salted. But keep in mind, like the reason why I say I, these are my go-to is because these only has two grams of carbs per serving. Now this one over here, because they're mixed with other different nuts, then those other nuts are not as good. Like the best <clears throat> nuts that you want to eat are uh, uh, walnuts and almonds. Um, but as far because they have the lowest uh, carbs in them. So this can right here, just so you know, it does have a total of six grams of carbs, but it has dietary fiber. fiber. So if you don't know, let me see if I can find one right here. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna let y'all zoom in on that. Uh, so right here it says a total of five grams, but then you have to subtract. You have to subtract the fiber, which is three grams, which equals two grams of carbs. So that's why this only has two grams of carbs. And so it's a, so just keep that in mind when you're buying uh, different products and you wanna look at how much the total carbs is, and if it has any dietary fiber. If it does, then you can subtract that from the total. So in this case, this one has six grams of carbs in it, and the dietary fiber is two grams, so that's you're sitting at four grams. So again, remember I told you like these ones are better. So over here, for one serving, I can get 28 nuts. Over here, I can only get 15. So 15 versus 28, you know, you do the math. <clears throat> so you do have options. You don't have to, if you don't like straight almonds. Um, again, they come in various flavors. So hopefully you can find something that you like. So these are, again, my main go-to options because you know you know don't need a refrigerator. You just put them right there on your desk, put them in your drawer, and they're right there for you at all times. Maybe you can keep one in your car. So another go-to snack. <clears throat> would be beef jerky. So again, beef jerky, it doesn't have to be refrigerated. Um, but again, just be careful of which ones you buy because uh, there are some like artificial beefs out there and some of those that you, when you do open, you will have to refrigerate those. And so also just keep an eye on like again, just look at the back of the label. It'll let you know. Like these ones are right here, these are naturally smoked and these are uh, claimed to be real beef. So these have uh, three grams of carbs, which is kind of high. Uh, normally you would find anywhere from one to two. Um, I just picked these up at Walmart, uh, but they do have one gram of fiber in there. So these are actually gonna be two or grams of carbs. So. <clears throat> Again, these are my go-to snacks that I need to eat in between my lunch and breakfast. Also, if you feel like you need another snack before dinner, then you can always feel free to go back. Thanks for watching, guys. This concludes our video for today. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, we'll see you. This is a warm welcome from the bottom of our hearts from the Foreshore Family channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Until next time, see ya!